Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with you with another retouching video. I want to chat to you about how I retouch my full body swimwear. I think a lot of people struggle with it, you know, with retouching legs and maybe something like, um, you know, tan marks and so on. And I want to show you that it's not that scary. So I am going to get right into it. Um, this is the image we are going to be working on. First, I'd like to mention this video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Um, they are an online learning community with more than 17,000 classes to choose from. You can choose from a variety of different subjects. It's arts, crafts, technology, obviously photography and Photoshop. So if you guys are looking for more information on skin retouching or in general how Photoshop works or you know you want to know certain things about photography, then this is the place to go. So as you guys know, I always start in Lightroom. I always do my pre-adjustments in Lightroom and I'm using all my presets here so I can just have a little preview and see what I like um, and what I don't like. And that will kind of give me an idea of what preset I like the most. Um, there is a few, I think, in Bali Breeze that I like the most for this particular one, just because it kind of gives it a nice look. So I think it's between Ubud and Balangan, possibly, and maybe Black Sand. But I'm kind of leaning towards Ubud, especially the brighter one. I kind of feel like it gives me a nice little look. Again, let's look at Black Sand and Balangan. I do kind of like Balangan as well. Um, so maybe let me have a look and play around just to get it a little bit brighter and maybe a bit less highlights. Okay, and let me see. And then let me go into Ubud and then go into the brighter part as well. I think I kind of prefer the skin tones on this one. But then maybe the blues I prefer a bit more on the other ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the blue channel. And I might just make the blues a tiny bit more green. Okay, so something like that. And maybe a bit darker. Yeah, that could be quite nice. Okay, so once I have that sorted... That's me pretty much done with one click. I'm going to go into Photoshop. Okay, once I have the image in Photoshop, I am going to create a second layer just to be safe. I always do that just to make sure that if I, you know, do something wrong or I, you know, do something too much, I can always come back and fix it. So here is the image. I am going to start very quickly with the face. Today is not about the face, so I'm just going to kind of speed through it. Um, I just don't want to waste too much time on the face because it's usually covered in the other videos. So it, I want to touch our skin down nice and easy. It's literally just a few brush strokes. I don't really want to overdo it. I, in general, find when I shoot swimmer, I do like to keep it quite natural and I don't like to over retouch images. Uh, but yes, so we are going to look at what needs to be fixed. I think first, this is the little tan mark that the model has here, and it's the same here. She also had a skin condition that kind of caused those little dots. Um, you know, you don't usually have to Photoshop it. I don't usually do this kind of stuff, to be honest. I find it quite okay, but I will show you for the sake of it how to remove it if you need to. First, I'm going to start with um, the little mark here and as you see you have a little bra mark and so on i'm going to grab my patch tool and i'm just going to go over the one area where the line is kind of most visible i'm going to grab the area that looks bad and then just drag it onto the healthier looking area and this way you get rid of this really bad line here and it kind of molds it and blends it a bit a little bit better so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to grab a brush i'm going to put it on flow maybe three percent and just slowly fill it up just a tiny bit i don't want to lose the texture okay and now I, that i have that i'm going to dodge and burn as well so alt new layer soft light fill with 50 percent gray and now i'm going to grab a darker color and just going to go over the area that is slightly lighter and as you see it's starting to match pretty well same with the little side boob another thing that you can do also if there is too bright of an area for you to fix is to use selective color or to use a color layer i'm going to show you now in a second but i think this is pretty good 
So now again, I don't want to kill all the highlights either. So um, just be aware of that, you know, just don't go overboard. So with the color layer that I was mentioning, you do, uh, you create a new layer and you just put it on color. Once you have that, you sample the skin and then you go over the area that you want fixed in terms of tones. And that should give the skin a nicer, warmer tone. So I'll just switch this off to show you. As you see straight away, it's much more reddish kind of orange color. Just grab those really, really warm colors and, and just kind of, you know, make sure that it doesn't turn so weird. Okay. So just like that, you have this here and then this. Now I feel like this is a bit too much. I don't feel like it needs that much opacity. So I might just bring it down maybe to 60%. And then I'm going to fix a few things as well with the um, Dodge and Burn. So I'm going to grab a white brush. And I'm just going to go over the areas that are a bit darker. So, and that need a bit brightening. So I think here, just to kind of make the skin look as uniform as possible. So any kind of darker patches here, I'll go over them as well. And then if you have li lines like this, I would also just consider grabbing a, a good old patch tool and just getting rid of it okay and now any other kind of lines now as you see here we have those little spots here of discoloration so i'm going to grab them here with the good old patch tool and just kind of get rid of them one by one it is going to be a process it's going to take a while it's not something that happens straight away but you know so in general if you use the patch tool it's pretty good because it just doesn't really destroy any of the texture and so on you just try and find similar texture to the one that you're copying from um just to make sure that there is no kind of you know differences in color and so on as you see here the colors are a bit different it's just not the best job on my part that's better and then the same with this one okay that's straight away much better so as you see the little spots are gone now okay so now that we have that i think i'm going to go back with dodging and burning and i'm going to brighten the areas that are a bit too dark so i might just for the sake of it i might set up another um dodging and burning layer just to kind of have the two separate because i was changing it on the first one i was putting the opacity down and so on so i think it's just safer okay so flow three and just the same as with the face you just go over the images bit by bit um you know it is the it is a process again i'm going to speed up through it because i don't want you to sit around here for a full day now what i sometimes find better if you have a look here um if you work on the skin that's slightly darker you can kind of find that um if you're working on a traditional dodge and burn it can turn the skin kind of white and it's not a very flattering look so sometimes what i like to do i'm going to get rid of it and then just select um curves and just do a white layer here okay then command i to reverse it and then i'm going to go with exactly the same brush just white brush on the black um, mask and just go over the areas now here again if you go too strong don't worry you can always get rid of it as you see it is getting a bit too bright so i am going to fix it in a second so in general the goal is to make the skin as uniform as possible so any kind of darker spots and any kind of you know imperfection and you know anything that is slightly uneven you just want to get rid of that as i said don't stress if it's a bit too bright or whatever you can always fix it afterwards you know you can um, always bring the opacity down and so on so it is sometimes better to just kind of go a bit stronger and then just kind of adjust since the, you know from there sometimes it's good to zoom out as well just to have a look at what you're doing And now we can put the opacity down to maybe 80. So as you see, it's much smoother already. So 
So you can just keep going at that until you are happy with the results. I'm going to put everything back up again and just do a few more minutes of that. Um, this kind of process can take anything from, you know, five minutes to 50 minutes. It all depends how much there is to fix and so on. It's the same with skin, you know, with retouching skin. If, if model skin is good, then it's obviously much quicker. If there is a bit more to fix, then obviously it's going to take a bit longer. Okay, I'm going to put the opacity down a tiny bit. So I'm going to go maybe 60, maybe around there. And now I'm going to go back to my main layer and I am going to go with my brush. Still at quite a low flow, maybe around two or three. I'm going to keep the smoothing at zero and then I'm going to grab the most similar color to the skin and then just go ever so slightly over it. Now I'm not going to be overdoing it and I'm not going to going, be going very heavy, um, but it's just a tiny bit and I find that it helps smooth out the skin without necessarily killing the texture. And I find it's a really good step for those slightly bit more lazy photographers like me, or as I call it, time efficient. And this way you get a bit more smoothness without having to dodge and burn really a lot, you know? So. I find it's a really cool method. The trick to this thing is just to sample wherever you are. So if you change the color of the skin or whatever, you know, if you move from space to space, you just have to make sure that you click and select the color that is the closest because otherwise it's not going to look natural and it's just going to look very awkward. And as you see, as I go, I just sample different areas of the skin just to make sure that it's the closest it can possibly be. I'm going to go a bit more here and just add a bit of lightness on the boob area. Just even it out a tiny bit. And once I have that done, I'm pretty happy with that. As you see, I'll show you the before and after. And I'll show it to you close up. So as you see here, even though I smoothed the skin, I didn't really kill the texture that much. So it's just a tiny bit smoothed, but the texture is still there, which is what you want. Now I'm going to create um, another curve layer. And this time I'm going to go a tiny bit more, maybe here and there. Don't worry if stuff gets overexposed. And then I'm going to invert it, control I again. And then I'm going to go back to the areas that look like they need more highlight. And I'm going to grab my little brush here. I might put the flow up a tiny bit more. And then just go over the areas that I feel need highlighting. And as you see, I'm going in that little zigzag uh, when it comes to highlights. Just because I feel like it makes it a bit more natural and a little bit more spread rather than just, you know, going in a straight line. So going over the arm here. So any kind of natural highlight that you see, I usually like to exaggerate it. We even add a tiny bit on the side. Tiny bit on her face. Not too much. Perfect. And then here again, because I feel like it needs a bit more. Sometimes what I do is I start with a much bigger, softer highlight, and then I make it smaller and I kind of go in the middle. And then if I go into the middle, I go in a straight line. But as you see, I'm still on quite a low flow, so it's not too drastic. There we go, before and after. If I feel like I've done too much on the highlight, I can bring it down a tiny bit, maybe up to maybe 80, just to not be too extreme. Okay, I am pretty happy with the way that looks. I'm going to show you a little before and after. So there we go. I'll show you a little close up. So as you see, we got some, um, you know, we got rid of some of the spots on her skin and a tiny bit of the swimwear marks and so on and just blended it kind of nicely. So it's nice and even. Now, finally, actually one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the chest area here as i feel like it's not as golden as i would like it to be i'm going to grab a yellow color and i'm going to show you why don't worry about it being crazy it's not going to be i'm going to grab a flow maybe three 
and then i'm going to go over this area a tiny bit and you see straight away how much more um yellow it becomes kind of goldeny and this way um you can kind of match your skin much nicer so it kind of matches it a bit better it gets rid of any redness it works really well if your model's cold and she turns purple for some reason fortunately it happens okay so finally what i'm going to do is i'm just going to crop the image i do like the bit more of a cropped look and i feel like there's too much sky so i'm just going to go here and maybe it's a bit more space over the head finally i might just do another curve adjustment just for the fun of it just a bit more highlight here and a bit more shadow just to bring up the tan i think that preset made the tan look really nice and golden like her skin is just so beautiful and again there we go before and after so as you see those are not huge changes they are very subtle but it makes a huge difference you know especially when you look at the leg if you look from the distance it looks super smooth if you go closer by you can definitely still see the texture you know and like all the little water droplets so that's the kind of look that you want you don't want to go overboard and you don't want to smooth too much okay guys i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i will see you on sunday